Okay, guys, we're back here in EU4, EU4, EU4 with the Swedens, the legacy of the Vikings, the real Viking men. We are here to go back to our roots of pillaging and plundering. Well, not really. We're more about conquesting and expanding, but still, we have the same Viking lust for gold. All right, let's go get called into a war uh, against Novgorod. Um... And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go kick the, the, the heck out of the uh, Novgorodians and steal most of their land. That's basically the idea that we're doing right now. Um, another idea that I think I'm also going to implement right about now is I think I'm also going to start getting my capped out limit again. So let's get one right here. Let's see. I have 12... Okay, so I need 13. Why can't I build these? I guess I can't. Well, anyways, when I can build them, I'm definitely going to build them. Anyways, so what we're going to do right here, we're going to do the same strategy we did last time. If you guys don't know what we did last time, you'll soon find out. I mean, it was a pretty simple strategy. We're going to disconnect these guys. Select them. Move them all the way up here, and they're basically going to conquer all the colonies over here. So we don't have to deal with them. Over here, these guys are going to casually conquer over here and over there. Um, I should expect that, yeah, Livia is going to... You guys dragged me into this war, so you guys are going... Ugh. An alliance offer from Lithuania? So does that mean Lithuania is completely free from... Uh... Oh yeah, Poland's completely tore up. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lithuania. Uh, do we accept? Yes. We accept, because you know what, you guys would be very helpful to my expansionist goals. Until you guys start hindering them and I have to start going to war with you. But for right now, you guys are very much helping me. So, let's get a royal marriage with these guys, because you know what? Ah, dang <laughs> Give me one second, guys. I have to get a royal marriage with these guys, because they're the only country that's actually... Yes, my king. We have finally managed to convert the heretics and the vow to the one and only true faith. This increases our prevail influence by yada yada yada. Oh, shoot! And this is what happens when I was reading and not paying attention to the battle. How did this happen? Was I not fully... I'm not fully spoiling my troops, am I? Yep. That's how it happened. Alright. You guys... Retreat. Oh, great. We're all gonna die, aren't we? Wait, yes! Oh, dang. I thought I was gonna win there for a second. I thought I was definitely gonna win. I was like, yes! Okay, anyways. We have to get a royal marriage with Lithuania because, you know, we have now kind of... Who the heck is the Diplo? Oh yeah, we're still fabricating claims, and I still want to fabricate claims on a lot of people. Oh yeah, collecting taxes, yeah. We're fabricating claims, way too we're done with fabricating claims. Um, and let's support our army again. We're gonna lose all of our manpower that we just gained throughout the years. Mm. That kind of stinks. And they're also chasing my army, which is not even a good thing. The good thing, though, is that I don't think... Uh, as long as I make sure I have my army right here blocking them, we should be able to block whatever kind of army they have. Should be able to do that. Okay. Royal man... Oh, you guys! Oh, you guys are awesome! Yeah, yeah, Lithuanian. High five! If you guys didn't see, I kind of high fived. And I think that basically counts. Like, I high five. So, I'm, maybe I'll just high five myself. Yeah! That's a high five between Lithuanian, Lithuania and Sweden. Okay, so this general, Joan Lichtland, has been useful throughout these years, has been in many different wars and many different casualties. Another one is about to resurface. Can I please build a stupid horseman? Thank you. Like, seriously. Alright. Alright, what do you guys mainly... You guys are mainly 7-4. Okay, I'm gonna need my own horseman back over here. So we're basically gonna go send a gigantic force to go crush the uh, armies of... of them. And then after this, I think we'll be strong enough to go defeat the, uh armies of armies of Denmark so what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna conquer indeed and you guys should be getting a lot of royal marriage boost ah oh, come on guys I don't know what that is but 
Oh shoot, yeah, we're also controlling our trade. Well, the Novgorodian troops should not be able to deal with me because I also I've, I have way more troops than they do in that one province. So we should be able to fight them. Ah, dang. Well, okay, I'm going to have to wait for the battle to be over with so I can decide. Wait for a second. Wait for a second. Are they almost done? No, they still got a long ways before they would conquer this land, so... Okay, there we go. Get this over here. Yeah, don't ever mess with me again, Novgorod. You guys are definitely not uniting Scandinavia, by the way. I'm definitely making sure of that. Uh, you guys combine all into one gigantic army. 13 versus 10, guys. Who do you think is going to win? Especially since I also have a general that has a really good shock value. Like, extremely good shock. Not really good anything else, but extremely good shock. Plus, now my army's supported. It lost its morale, though. That kind of stinks. Come on. Die, die, die. Yes! We died. They all died. And all the army is now destroyed. Gonna hunt them down. Now since they're in my land, it's just gonna be now kill them all off. Oh, I, lo I love this point. I love the point where you could just like just keep just hunt them down. Time for just hunt down time. But we just kill off the rest of them. And they lose a lot. Okay. And now that they're doing this, we go right here. And basically, what I'm going to do throughout this war is take as much as I can. Oh, wait a minute. I won't be able to take inner German land if... I don't know. I don't... Will I be able to take inner German land if I just have a core on it and maybe my vassals took it over? Like, does that work that way or do I... Or is it I have to be the one that conquered it? Okay, but anyways, I'm going to move my soldiers right here. I'm going to start dividing up the innermost thoughts of, no of Novgorod so that we can... Start using that to our advantage. Okay. Oh, either way, if if Lithuania gets it right here, then I'll just be able to, uh... It'll help me out in the long run. Okay, so I'm going to split up my army. Send half of it to go this way. And we're basically going to make sure that they never unite ever, ever, ever again. Because we don't want either army to unite with the other half of the army. Because if they unite, they actually do form a pretty good army. So, kill off the rest of these guys. John Lichten should be able to win the battle pretty smashingly. Blame the king! Wait, what? <laughs> okay! Blame me for what? I don't know what I did, but okay. Apparently I made some people mad at me. Okay, I... Uh, okay, I... <laughs> I don't know what I did. I don't know. Okay, I, I guess I did something terrible in my past or something. I don't know. Okay, let's see. How is this? What is this anyways? Uh, imported center of trade. Important center of trade. Does this have the important... Kniv. Wait, does this have important center of trade? Local trade power. No. This is... I did not know this was a center, like an important center of trade. Huh. I gotta remember that for future. Anyways, uh, right now we are taking nutrition. Nutritional value is not very good. These guys are almost about to take over the rest of that. We discovered an agent, whatever. Oh, we also have a hundred men over here. So I'm going to go send these guys to go over here. We're going to go take back some of this land. And, oh my goodness, Lithuania. Having the Lithuanians on our side should be able to tip the tide of this Norway-Denmark war I was thinking about into completely my favor. There'd be no one, like, we would definitely win this in an all-out brawl. And now we've just trapped those three soldiers right there forever. So I shouldn't have to worry about them ever. Okay, like, like I said, and how much do we have until I'll start? Okay, Novgorod, we still have... This would be a very long Fabricane claim on. <laughs> like, this is going to be a very long Fabricane claim on. So what I think I might do, I don't want us to keep in this war. I'm going to cancel my fabricating claim because it's just, it's like we basically already won against Novgorod and uh, it, I, I don't see the point guys, I'm sorry, I just don't see the point. Are we all 45%? No, I don't see the point. Okay, I, I just don't see the point of keep fabricating claims on a country, we basically have everything we can get. Okay, I'm not going to keep it, I'm not going to keep this war going for that long. It's just... Not going to. Okay, and then these guys. You guys have basically destroyed the walls. Now, please take down the rest of the enemy fortresses. Hmm. 
okay? And then... We're just like nailing on them right now. That is so awesome that we get this bonus. A local trade, just awesome. What about Sweden? How's Sweden doing? It has no important modifiers. Sweden is... The city of Stockholm is unimportant. I feel sad now. Okay, let's go move our troops right there. This city is being stubborn and doesn't want to just destroy itself or self-destruct. It wants to stay alive. Once I conquer that last province right over there, I should be done. Okay, I just finished up with my one of my uh, coin events. So let's go fabricate some more land claims onto Norway. The Finnmark is the last claim we can get, so basically we are going to war with all these guys very, very soon here. In fact, I don't even know where I should even go next. Maybe... No, Lithuania could get much higher relationships, honestly. Let's see. Convert. No, economic ties. No, uh... Do, 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 do. Uh... Improve relationships. That's what I mean. We want to make sure that our Lithuanian ties are pretty good. And I know they're not the best tech group ever, but... It should be good enough to where they sh they they won't fail us. Okay, and you guys, come on, hurry up, conquer the rest of this place, conquer, conquer. Cause I'm gonna gain these two provinces from this war, and that'll make me a good like size Sweden right now. That'll make me look like do, do like that. I think I think my name will actually switch to like that. Legitimacy, dang this legitimacy is it's almost going up by one a year now though. That is great news. That is great news. The siege is finally over. You guys go right there then. We could go battle that army over there, but I think I'm going to leave it up to the Lithuanians to go kill that army. Because I really don't want to do it. <laughs> but let's be honest here, I really don't want to do it. And, oh man, it's already 1461. Dang. Time is flying, guys. Time is flying. Just sitting here. Mm -hmm. Negative seven. Sieges, negative seven. So now we're in February. Probably the worst time to siege. And then, oh no, low maintenance. Again? Oh, the ships. Never mind. I haven't really cared about my, about my ships ever since they, they lost a lot of times. In fact, after this, I think I'll probably just do an entire new recruitment run for, like, ships and stuff because... Dang, our ships stink. Alright, you, are you still a vassal? There's a vassal of, Mus of Muscovy. Dang. That must stink, man. That must stink. I mean, your, your, your home country is just like getting ripped to shreds. Not even pleasantry, it's just like getting ripped to shreds. Like, just literally ripped to shreds. Nothing, there's like nothing you can do to stop this. It's just like, it's gonna happen. Alright. Alright. Now, since we got 25% war score, let's see if they will accept my generous offer of... Oh, I need to get Diplo. Alright, who do I not really care about? Sweden. Okay, I, I don't really care about this. <laughs> okay, let's get out this. Okay. Novgorod, I'm going to give you a deal and you are going to accept it because you guys are completely and utterly uh, defenseless and... I think this deal is quite well balanced, I do believe. So, here's what is going to happen. Okay, whatever, whatever. Alright, I'm going to get Carla. Wait. This piece will cause Sweden, Lithuania, and all these other guys. we are getting aggressive. I really want to. I don't have any claims on these guys though. I could gain this though and just completely sl switch that, split that empire. But I don't think I have a claim on Ostahan. Mm, yes, but that would also complete the rest of the overall Sweden. Maybe what we'll do is we'll disconnect that. What we'll do is release nations. No, 
map for many trees. Force religion. Eh. Who has an what's the base trade value? Basically all these places are terrible. Okay. I don't know if I should include this, like because I know I'll get very yeah, I'll get very bad aggressive ex Extension and all that. Yeah, let's just keep it like this. Give me as much gold as you as I want until you can't give me any more gold. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. So now, <laughs> look at our nation, guys. We have now extended to Sweden. Dun 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 dun. And now we have another colony in our our mixed. But this one's really close. In fact, all of our colonies are really really close. And I think. Next episode, guys, we will have all our colonies. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next. Ah, glory! Nah, this isn't a glory episode. And what? Do, this isn't really a glory let's play. This is the let's play of the forming of Scandinavia or the legacy of the Vikings. This is Sweden. Okay, everyone, welcome back to another episode of EU4. Sweden. All right. So we're back here in this Let's Play of Arsonist where I'm watching as our Teutonic Order friends are being torn apart. Quite literally torn apart by other powerful nations. I don't know what they did this for. Like, I'm... I, I don't know. Like, this wasn't really supposed to be anything... They should not have joined in. That's all I gotta say. Well, I mean, Hungary is on this side, but... When Bohemia and Austria usually unite, it's usually not a good sign that they're gonna... That isn't gonna last very long. Let's be honest. Mmm. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully the Teutonic Order's armies will not get too torn apart, because I do need them for a future invasion of... The... You know... The Isles of Denmark. Or Copenhagen. We need to storm the lands of Copenhagen and all that. Might even, you know, just as a side note, I might just even go to war in Nov Novgorod again when they're, like, doing something stupid or something. Because, I mean, honestly, would no one not want to go to war in Novgorod? I mean, they're just right there. <laughs> they're just right there, and it looks so, so much like they could be a part of our empire so quickly. And adding them might help our manpower reserve, which is by far our weakest part of the game. Let's see. Do we have a new technology yet? Tech. Let's get some new tech. Let's get some new tech. And I think I finally got some new... Oh, yes. Okay, I think I... Not only did I get some more trade range, but I also got some new medieval army. Okay. I'd like to upgrade now. The backbone of an army. The humble infantrymen. Yes, I know. They're all humble. They're very, very humble people. Now, I'm going to replace these guys. Can I replace him? Inventory. Okay, maybe I need to go somewhere else. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to replace him here. Let's go to the Hellbird Latian Infantry. And let's see. Does that replace everyone or does that just replace some? Uh, no, these are... Oh, okay, they all become new infantrymen. That's good. That's good. I thought that only a couple of them, like, convert and then I'd have to, like, you know, delete all the previous army and then reinstall the, this army. I'm so glad I did not make that in this version. Because that would have been... Terrible. Okay, let's boost our stability back up to three. There we go. Three stability. We are doing good in that respect. I mean, we have a powerful stability. Powerful stability boost, which means our economy is back to basically at full. Which is, we're not doing too bad in our economy. We're not doing the best, because I probably could be doing a lot better in a couple of retrospects. But, you know, just kind of the way things happen. Here, I'm going to be building armies. I think armies are going to be very beneficial to us. Um, places with very low morale. Like, right about here would be a really good place to put it because it doesn't have very much. We need, basically, you need to put armies where places where they don't have very much. Lapland is a colony. I know it's a colony. So, um, a lot of places over here would not be bad to put it. Uh... Alright, you know, let's just start in Stockholm. Let's start, let's build our capital up, and then we'll start building out from there. Like, we build up Rome, and then we build up the outskirts. 
because you know what, Rome was awesome. Okay, so I think I my one of my missionaries have returned. Uh, not missionaries. One of my uh, free diplos have returned. Probably fabricating claims on someone. Yeah, I think I was fabricating claims on Norway. So what I'm gonna do now is turn my attention onto Norway again, and we're gonna fabricate more claims. <laughs> Cause that's just what we do as Sweden is until. When we get the opportunity, we will use a lot of these cores, but until we can, we're just gonna get a lot of, we're just gonna get a lot of claims to the land. Uh, man, ev like, everyone's gonna hate us for it, but, you know what, it's, it's, it's honestly okay in the end, because we'll all be the same, we'll all be the same in the end. And you guys are almost done being a stupid, stupid general, you know, pain in my butt. Like, seriously, in about four more years, these guys will be a full-fledged colony. Not colony, I meant an actual province. So I can actually, like, stop having this colonial... Like, if you guys know, I do have, like, a colonial maintenance right now, which I shouldn't even have at this point. That's really kind of stupid. I have that already. And then over here, this might take... This is probably going to take another five years to finish, but it'll finish, which is the good part. Okay. And with a Sweden land, we're just kind of, like, chilling still. I mean, a lot of our soldiers have almost... We are almost completely healed up. I mean, this has been... It's been a very, very long time since our army has been almost completely ready to fight another war. Uh, you guys are getting completely tore up, by the way. Well, not that. Uh, the Teutonic Order's army has gone down by a significant margin. Which is kind of scary to think about, but... You know, I guess that's just how some of the cookie crumbles sometimes. You know, you have a big army at one point, then you have a small army at another point. Then you have a big army at this point, then you have a small army at this point. I guess it's just kind of what happens. Oh, and it also says over here where my colonies are. Naval thought to be expected. Oh, that makes me kind of sad there. That that kind of made me kind of sad. And the missionary is taking a very, very long time in Nevera to convert these Orthodox. But once we have them from Orthodox, we should be we should be wreaking the full benefits of our taxation and our production onto them, which is what kind of what we need to do. Because we need to have all this, so production interference, let's see. Production's only about 10.00 efficiency. Taxing is about 30.00. We have to we have to slowly increase that, I don't deny. Uh, rebels are always a pro oh. What war? What war am I being called into? What war did you get yourself involved in? We probably will lose 25% prestige. Okay, give me a second. How are you doing in the war? Actually, Poland is out of his man's Dover. Let me see. Let's see, you guys are at war with... There's a war marriage with Poland, alright, but you guys are at war with both Bohemia you guys are doing this. Bohemia's army. Actually, this would not be that bad of a war because we wouldn't be fighting it for one. And two, uh, Teutonic Order has basically cleaned up everything. The Byzantine refugees. My lord, Byzantium has fallen to the Sectians. The last bastion of the Roman Empire, the city of Constantine, has now took his hands. As Christendom reels from the shock, Byzantine refugees flock to the cities and courts of Europe to bring with them old manuscripts of classical knowledge trade by Aristotle, Plato, and Galleon, and a thorough knowledge of both Latin and Greek. Inventing the refugees of Sweden might provide an enormous boost to our efforts in the fields of culture and science. By all means, come you little Greek men. I, I was trying to come up with a more like better response but I don't know that did not come out right well anyways okay so my other ally did join in too so yeah they're, they're basically gonna handle the war front we're just kind of gonna be sitting back and being like yeah we're helping we're helping yeah we're, we're definitely helping this war out I mean as you guys can see we are so helping right now you could just feel the love we have right now for everyone. Okay, England is, I think, almost getting itself back together. I'm still not sure. The world is still Catholic. Like, we have not had the first, um, 
traces of anything but Orthodox, Sunni, and Catholic. There have not been any Protestants popping up yet. We do have some Lawlid though, which I'm pretty, f I'm, I'm laughing about in my head. I'm just laughing. I'm like, oh my goodness. Really? Okay, and our army, what is our army saying? Low maintenance! No! Well, duh, I'm not really, this isn't really a war for me. It's not really a war, I'm, I'm going to be, oh, whoops. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I accidentally tabbed out, and as you guys know, when you tab out, when Fraps is running, it crashes the entire game. So, yeah, that did not help me very much. So, I feel very, very sad right about now. Um, I'm going to build more marketplaces to kind of review my sadness. Okay. But yeah, I'm I'm not gonna be fighting this war, so I don't really see any point in like doing anything. I mean, we're we're basically just gonna be sitting back and waiting for Poland to say, yeah, it, we're done, we're done. Mm. Which I'm hoping is very soon, because I think this is the only war you guys are in, right? And right now we're only at war with Poland. No one else is at war with us, right? Yeah, no one else in Europe is at war with us. And yeah. We're not too, we're not too big on this, and I'm just gonna delete this. And yeah, we're just kind of just chilling now. Our diplomats have arrived from Novgorod. Okay, done fabricating claims on that place. Okay, fabricate more claims. <laughs> oh my God. I, I swear, I would just be so mad at this country for just keep trying to conquer me. Okay, uh, gain this little land right here. Inner German land. Let's get inner German land, everyone. That name. And why is that name up here all the way in Russia? <laughs> why do they have inner German land all the way in Russia? Wouldn't it make more sense like some over here? No, somebody's probably gonna correct me in the comments about that. But still, it makes sense in my mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is like the first time in a very long time that we've had 5,000 men in our place. And I'm honestly, what I think I'm going to be doing, the following of these terms, conquest, yada, yada, yada. So, we got, the Teutonic Order got another province, which makes them more strong, which makes us more happy. Because ultimately, that helps us with our war. Because if I were to add up all the troops that I just saw that Norway now has, which they didn't have a while back, we'd be about even. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to, uh... Up the amount of people that we're going to be recruiting. Ooh. Really? Who are you at war with? Who are you at war with before I even... Okay, who are you at war with? Oh, Novgorod! Never mind! <laughs> I could easily go to war with Novgorod. But I think, guys... Can I leave this for the next episode? Hmm... Yeah, I think I'll leave this for the next episode. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.